We understand that you brought Black Russian to this year's AFM. Is that correct? Correct. Um, what was your strategy going there? Going there? Mm -hmm. Well, the strategy was to um, pitch a film that um, had a relevant uh, construct or concept, that being um, uh, narco-terrorism. And, you know, it, the, the movie itself takes place in perhaps arguably the, one of the most uh, dangerous parts of the world currently, which is the Pakistan-India border region and around Afghanistan. And the, 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 the pitch was that, you know, we have a very interesting um, screenplay that takes place in this backdrop. And the story itself is a, it's fundamentally a, a kidnapping story. It's a story of a Los Angeles-based lawyer who goes in search of his um, uh, fiancée. But the backdrop is is you know very compelling. So it's a it's a story that we've heard before. Like you know, obviously you've seen films like Taken, Man on Fire, and so forth. But we decided to shoot it um, in this um, uh, environment to make it more 21st century, or uh, as we say, 2013. Um, uh, what's current here in the U.S. I mean, I, I guess. While we were doing the screenplay, it was interesting um, that you, you know the SEAL team had captured and killed Osama bin Laden at that point, and this was going on while we were in pre-production. So um, it gave us a little bit more, um, I suppose, um, motivation to really get get our story out there because it became a relevant issue. We we see that part of the world from a certain lens. And what I wanted to do was show that part of the world from sort of the um, the community's point of view, and at the same time, tell a story that hopefully people will find uh, very interesting. So, in synopsis, the the strategy of the AFM was to go there and say, "Look, you know, I know that you know you don't know me. Uh, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not your um, mainstream filmmaker. I'm not, you know, anyone who's uh, connected to a big studio." But I have a compelling story, and I have um, something I think audiences um, across the board here, with, whether here in the U.S. or abroad, be interested in. What type of prep work did you do beforehand to get yourself ready to go, whether it was just administrative, getting flyers ready or whatever? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the main thing about um, a lot of w what happened at the uh, AFM this year was also a learning experience for me. But before going into any type of festival or um, or gathering, it's really good to know all the players. So you really have to do a lot of research. And the first thing to do is to find out who's going to be at the AFM. So that's a critical component. So you would actually contact the AFM and find out which vendors are going to be there, which production houses are going to be there, which distributors are going to be there. And then you painstakingly slowly start the process one by one contacting everybody. Because when you're in independent production and you don't know anybody, then you want to reach out to everyone. And sure, people are going to slam the door in your face and or put the phone down on you rather. But you want to contact as many people as possible and set up as many appointments as possible to pitch your story and your concept. Before, um, you know, before, before going into the AFM, um, some filmmakers will have a completed film. Some will have uh, a film that needs financing. Others will have one that's actually being shot. In our situation, we were in post-production. So since our film was already fully financed, that gave us a little bit of an edge, I think. Um, the other thing that I was pushing for um, in post-production was to finish our trailer and a couple of reels before we went to the AFM, which we were able to accomplish. And I think that really, really helped a lot in regards to securing appointments because when you're talking to the other person on their side, they're like, well, what do you what do you have to show us? And we're like, okay, well, let's, you know, here's the trailer, go online and look at it. And then as soon as we got the production houses to look at the trailer or the distributors, they were interested. They're like, oh, this is a pretty cool trailer. You know, can we see the film? And we're like, well, not yet. <laughs> so, because, you know, even though I could have showed him a rough cut, I, I didn't want to because I'm very protective with the film. I, I want to show the film when people are capable of getting the full experience, meaning with the color corrected, the sound designed, um, in an environment where they're actually going to give it um, some credibility. The last thing I want is to hand a DVD to somebody and have them slap it into a laptop 
and while they're on the you know subway in the morning you know watching the film and talking to somebody while they're having coffee so you know as a filmmaker you put your heart and your soul into a project for you know a couple years and in in the end you know you you want someone just to give the the project a little bit of uh, you know respect so so i have kind of a different philosophy about just handing out copies of the film so you would recommend to other filmmakers before going to AFM, first off, do your research, find out who's going to be there, yeah, and maybe research what other types of films they've taken in and then target the ones, and also have something to show people. Yeah, exactly. The, the, key, is, the key is research and communicating. You, you really want to just get in touch with as many people as possible. And the great thing about the AFM is, you know, people may not, be interested in your film or they may not want to actually actually um, um, well I guess they may not want to be interested in your film but they may just want to meet you and it's a great opportunity because you have a lot of veterans there and and I you can get a lot of advice for your for a future project or even even the project you're on and sometimes you know it's it's just like you know everyone knows everyone so it's just it's it's great for networking I suppose